Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You, and today I'm going to be talking to you about soft proofing. And so you can see I have my, in my develop module, I have my soft proofing box checked. And when I don't have it checked, you can see that my background um, normally here is this gray color. And so when I go ahead and I check that box, it turns to this white color. And this is to simulate a, um, a printer paper, basically. Okay, so here we have this soft proofing box that you can see up here above your brushes and stuff where your histogram usually is. And so we have this, um, this profile here. And most of the time when I'm saving my photos, I'm saving them in sRGB. And that is so that I can use them for um, a lot of my printing. I do an sRGB. You'll have to check with your specific printer um, to see what they recommend. But all of my sharing that I do on my favorite social media sites and through email to family, all of that I do in sRGB mode. So then down here you have this intent. And so you get some control over the way that your colors are going to look. Um, when you save or print your photographs. And so up here we have this thing that looks kind of like a histogram. And one of the things that you want to know about it is down here, you're getting the absolute values and not the percents. So when we are looking at our normal histogram, this is going to say, you know, reds are whatever percent. Um, here you're not getting the percents, you're getting the actual red values and the actual green and the actual blue values. And so that's another really cool feature about this um, soft proofing is if you are a numbers kind of person, which I am, when it comes to working on skin tones and so forth, I love to look at the numbers. Um, so if you're a numbers kind of person, um, then this is another thing that you can kind of keep in mind for grabbing some numbers. Um, also here, up at the top of our um, histogram, we see this show monitor gamut warning, and we have this um, show destination gamut warning, which would be for like our printer. So we can go ahead and we can turn these warnings on, and for the monitor in the sRGB, the sRGB mode, I'm not seeing anything, and I'm not really seeing anything here for the... Okay, so if I went ahead and I increased my white balance, let's make a change here. Um, you can see that it made those red splooches. It's asking me now if I want to create a virtual copy for soft proofing. Um, this is exactly the same thing as a normal virtual copy. Um, you can change or choose to do that. For right now, I'm not going to. Okay, I guess I am. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can make a proof copy of that so that I have some control over that when I am soft proofing so that I can make adjustments. Okay, so here I have this, um, this is giving me some warnings and this is basically telling me that these colors are out of gamut and they're not going to print well. Anything that is represented by this highlight or this red here and again, when I turn on this blue, I don't see any of those clippings, the monitor gamut warnings. Okay, so we have a couple of options if this is the case, and you really like this yellow, um, this color temperature. And so you could just, you know, undo that and turn the temperature down. But if you weren't wanting to do that, another option that you could have is to just to grab a brush and not that brush. Oh, I see. Okay, so you could grab a brush and you could pull down that contrast and just pull down your pull down your um, white balance a little bit towards the blue just to make in those very selective areas to help um, hide some of that 
You want to be careful when you're working with the skin, but it worked really well on the background. Another thing that you could do is to maybe decrease your saturation a little bit in those areas. And there you will see that um, it goes away pretty quickly when you decrease the saturation because you are, um, again, pulling out some of that, that gamut there. And again, you just want to be careful when you are working on the skin because that is a really tough area to pull that back into. Okay, so um, that might not be a good solution for that particular area right in here. Um, I can see on her ear, I don't like it there, and I don't like it on her nose, so I would want to go in and erase that. And I would need a bigger brush to do that. But that worked um, pretty okay for the background. I would do a little bit less of the desaturating on the background, but these are just some ideas um, of how you could correct that if you were looking to correct that. Um, you can also switch over here to this relative. Um, these different color gamuts um, here, they are intense. Um, they work a little bit differently with how they control the color. And so those are some options that you have as well. And so this is basically just a, a proof. It's a proof, especially for those of you who don't have your monitor calibrated or um, you're a little bit unsure of yourself, you're second guessing yourself. Um, this isn't necessarily something that absolutely everybody is going to use all of the time. This is not something that um, is for everyone. And so, but for those of you who have been looking for a way to kind of um, grab an idea of how your colors are going to print, this is a um, good way for you to be able to do that. And so after you've gone through and you've kind of tweaked and you've played with your colors and you have a photo that no longer shows any of those warnings anymore, then you know that you will be good to go and what you are seeing on your screen and on your monitor is going to be something close to or identical to um, what you're going to get when you print. And so that is really helpful and that's definitely something that is helpful to understand and to know about. And so thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!